find the HCF of 75, 90 and 95. To find the HCF, first we should do the prime factorization of each number separately. That is C. 75, 90, 95. Okay, next. Here the last digit is 5, so we take 5 here. The first number 7, a number close to 7 in 5 table is 5 once 5. 7 minus 5, 2, 2 carried forward making it 25. When do we get 25 in 5 table? 5, 5 is 25. Now here we have 15, 15 is 5, 3 is 15. Now 3, 3 is the prime number, so 3 once 3. Now the other number, 90, last digit 0, so we take 5 here. The first number 9, a number close to 9 in 5 table is 5 once 5. 9 minus 5, 4, 4 carried forward making it 40. When do we get 40 in 5 table? 5, 8 is 40. Now here we have 18, 18 is 2 nines, 18. 9 is 3, 3 is 9. Now we have 3, 3 is the prime number, so 3, 1 is 3. Now the other number, 95 last digit 5, so we take 5 here. The first number 9, a number close to 9 in 5 table is 5, 1 is 5. 9 minus 5, 4, 4 carried forward making it 45. When do we get 45 in 5 table? 5, 9 is 45. Now here we have 19, 19 is a prime number, so we take 19 once, 19. So now our HCF is, HCF is the product of numbers which should be present over here and here and also here. I repeat, HCF is the product of numbers which should be present in all the three places here and here and also here so now let us find the numbers which are present here here and also here starting with the number 5 do we have 5 here yes so next place do we have 5 here yes so you cut 5 right here Next number 5. Do we have 5 here? No. No need to check in the other place. Next number 3. Do we have 3 here? Yes. So next place. Do we have 3 here? No. 3 is present in only 2 places. Whereas to write a number here, 3 should be present in all the 3 places. Since 3 is not present in all the 3 places, we should not write here. Understood? Next, here no more numbers are left. Therefore, we have only one number 5 present in all the three places. So 5 itself is our HCF. I repeat, we have only one number 5 present in all the three places. So 5 is our HCF. Am I clear?